clean, you can see the butchery on it, which came into the hotel, is fantastic. What we're using today is pork jowl. So the jowl actually comes from the head of the pig, right up here. Beautiful cut of meat to use, very fatty, and you can see a beautiful marbling all the way through the pork. So what we're going to do today is two simple recipes where you can do at home. Now if you don't find jowl, you may use pork belly. Okay? If you don't use pork belly, you may use pork shoulder. So don't be afraid. I think they've given out recipes to everybody. And what we're going to do is an amazing dish that you can create for your children at home or you want to have a little dinner party and you want to serve some tacos. So we're going to make some pulled pork tacos. We're going to marinate the pork. We're going to smoke it. We're going to roast it. The next one I would definitely recommend if you're ever making a Sunday lunch. So with this piece of pork here, we're going to do a, what we call a curing. So we're going to cure it in some salt and some herbs and some garlic. And this curing on this particular piece of pork would take about four hours. As I said, if you're using a piece of pork belly, you would leave this salt mixture on there for about six hours. And if you want to get a good Christmas present, because Christmas is on its way, buy one of these babies here. It's a sous vide machine which regulates your cooking. And after we marinated this for two hours, the pork jowl, as I said, if you're using belly, we're going to sous vide for 12 hours. So you can actually go to bed at night time, leave it on in your kitchen, and come in, and then you have the most beautiful, tender, succulent piece of pork that you've ever tasted in your life. So, first step, we're going to do the pulled pork, which we're going to smoke as well, okay? So we have a little smoking machine here. Again, you can buy them all on Zada. And we have some wood chips. What we're going to do is we're going to light this up and get some smoke flavor into this piece of meat. First, we're just going to rub it with a little bit of oil. We've got some cumin. And we've got some oregano. That we're just going to rub and massage into all of the pork on both sides. So once we've got all that mixture in here, I have some onions, some jalapeno chilies, garlic, lots of garlic, and orange juice. I'm just going to mix all that together. And then you take your pork jowl or your pork belly or your pork shoulder and you submerge it in here give it a rub around. So all these flavors are going to connect into the pork, bring out all of the juices and everything when we're cooking and we'll use all this marinade and liquid. So we're going to just cover it with some aluminium foil and then we're going to get the smoke flavor in here. How long do we need the smoke for? 15 minutes with the smoke coming inside it. We just keep lighting it. You can buy all this online now. On Lazada or Shopee. It's amazing. <laughs> okay. Second part is we're going to do a step which is called curing. So, as I said, if you have a thicker piece of pork, like a belly or a shoulder piece, you would usually cure this for around six hours. This piece here with the jowl only needs to be done for two hours. Okay? What the salt is going to do with the rosemary and the garlic, it's going to bind into it and penetrate into it. It's like a grinding it and it gives it a beautiful, beautiful flavor. So you have the sea salt, the rosemary, in here, garlic. Lots of garlic. And then fresh rosemary as well. We just rub all of this in on both sides. Massage it all the way into the pork. Once that's all in there, all pressed all the way around evenly, pop it in your fridge like, for two hours.
We used to say this. Okay. So, Suvi machine. Basically, we set it to 75 degrees centigrade. After we wash the pork off, we pop it into this bag. And this has been cooking for 12 hours. You don't need to worry about it. The machine regulates all the water inside, and then you have this beautiful piece of pork jowl, which is completely, completely cooked. You keep all the juices which are inside it. You can pass it around and let them have a look at it.
coriander, and lots of onion. Into that, I'm going to add a spoon or two of the leftover sauce from the bottom of the tray from the smoking of the tacos. I'm just going to wet that up a little bit. There's the pork. Thank you. 